Hi guys, I wanted to share something I've been playing with this weekend and that's hooking up SD cards to Homebrew 6502 computers. So you can see here I have an SD card and this is a SD reading device thingy. They're, they're pretty cheap to buy online um, so I can put the SD card into the uh, SD card reader. Uh, most of the circuit here is not actually related to the SD card. The SD card reader is pretty much hooked straight up to the 6522 uh, to bit bang the SPI protocol. So then, then I can turn it on and uh, you'll see on the screen a bunch of initialization dumps. Um, this shows it sort of uh, initializing the card, making sure it can read data from the card. Um, it's using the XFAT file system so then it reads the uh, master boot sector from the XFAT file system to work out what structure that file system is, finds the root directory um, and then you can see it dumping some files from the root directory there. Um, as well. And on the next page it's gonna just dump a load more times the root directory. Yeah, it's just sort of exercising some of the some of the functions I wrote to access the file system. Um, there's also a subfolder being accessed in there. And right at the end you can see it loading a text file um, printing its contents on the screen. There's a funny character at the end of one of the lines, that's actually the carriage return symbol in the text file which I don't have in my font obviously. Next up um, yeah, I've got it loading an image file here, so this this going to load this image file of Albert Einstein. And finally, the thing that I was most interested in getting to work was loading actual programs off the SD card and executing them. Um, so this one here is a cut down version of a little demo test program that I've used in the past. Um, and when I run that, it will just print a pattern on the screen and do a load of counting and memory tests. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I, 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 was, I was glad that this worked so well. Um, I'm looking forward to being able to run programs off SD cards instead of having to burn them onto EPROMs. And another thing that I want to start looking into is actually making a completely EPROM free system which, uh, which, in, in, which entirely boots from SD card um, and loads all of the operating system into RAM without having any EPROM at all, because that'd be quite cool. Anyway, I hope this was interesting. Just a quick video to sh yeah to show what I've been playing with. Let me know if you're interested in any more details on this, and I'll be happy to provide them. Um, and please do like, subscribe as usual. You know how it goes. Uh, and check out my other videos for similar content. Have a nice day.